Yeah, what up? Brandon C. from KISS FM here with our Fan Bus Fridays with Oneida County Tourism at Munson William Proctor Art Institute. As things start to come back and open up this summer, they're bringing back some exhibits and bringing some exhibits in, and we're going to talk to them and see about everything happening this summer right here. Anna, correct? Yeah, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Here we are at Munson William Proctor Art Institute uh, talking about all the stuff that is happening and even coming back this summer. Absolutely. Starting outside because very soon these sidewalks will be full, correct? Absolutely. We are so delighted to bring back the Summer Arts Festival. You know, it's a tradition, more than 50 year tradition here at Munson Williams. Couldn't have it last year, but this year, come the end of July, we will bring back the Arts Festival, the Sidewalk Art Show, music on the front lawn, a classic car show, activities and exhibitions inside. So, so much to do for families. Yeah, it's it's massive. It takes up the whole the whole block here. I mean, roughly like how many pieces of art are, are in the sidewalk show? Out of oh, there's curiosity. A, more than 200 usually every year during the uh, Arts Festival on the Sidewalk Art Show. It'll be nice to, uh, to see it back this year as you drive along Genesee Street for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, it's let's, a summer uh, staple. Yes, let's head inside and talk about uh, what else is happening Great. this summer. Cool. So Anna, I'm told that this here in this area is a series of paintings you're known for. Tell me a little bit more about. Sure. So all in of this gallery, um, it's a larger gallery of our 19th century American art collection. We're in the section that is showing Thomas Cole's Voyage of Life, a series of four allegorical paintings painted in 1840. And it is definitely among the very favorites of all of our visitors and something that we're known for. It was iconic in the 19th century, this series, and continued in popularity and really influenced American popular culture through the 19th and 20th centuries. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving some of the, the imagery in this. Uh, this one behind us, I love how dark it is, the, the castle and the clouds here. It's pretty cool. So again, it's Thomas Cole is the Thomas the Cole, Perfect. right. Cool. Right. Well known as a landscape painter in the 19th century, and you can see that in these paintings a great attention to detail, but it's also telling a story. It's telling the story of the voyage of life from right. from birth to death. Like right. angel, like the angelic sort of theme too. Right, right. That's so cool, right. Yeah. So you've got the angel, right? Yeah. Watch, so you've got the angel watching over the baby. Yep. And you can see you've got all these, so you've got the guardian angel, all these angels, you've got the hourglass right, for time, emerging from a cave, you know, you've got, um, so the birth of the baby and like this incredible foliage, like you know he's a landscape painter, right, yeah. it, just beautiful depth of field, all these great plants, you know, so here now the angel's like, okay, like you can go off on your own, You're, you've got youth who's leaving and is he going to have um, smooth sailing? But if you look around the bend, you can see some nice. really choppy waters nice. ahead, right? <laughs> and so with this beautiful um, fantastical really castle in the sky so yeah. you know our visions of our future and and what we're going to achieve I see. and then what's going on what's going on here yeah. this, this one I have questions about all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need you Anna all right all right so look at this so let's start with the boat okay you can see the expressions all right what are yep. they they're all looking a little worried Right? You've got rough waters, a Sums darker up. sky, you've got the blasted tree, you know, so much of the of these paintings about nature and symbolism. Guardian angels up above. Oh, there she is. Right? The, what's the rudder is missing off the back of the boat. That's right? a problem. But what do you see as the figure of man moves forward? Okay, that's a good question. Right, but we'll think about the <laughs> light. I'm seeing, I mean, I'm, seeing, right. I'm seeing the light, the little bit of light that's right. Right, you know, yeah. but a beautiful, you know, the, whether it's sunrise or sunset, like if you get, if maybe you sunset, it right? Yeah. But you're going through the haze of the storm mm -hmm. and you see the beautiful sunset that he's moving towards. So you've gone from him coming out of the darkness, you know, into the light, moving towards the sunset, and then. Things are getting real over here. <laughs> so, right, so, right, and, and then where's it going now? <laughs> well, this looks like heaven. Right, so you've got a sky of angels, the guardian angel now guiding, angels welcoming him. Mm -hmm. The um, uh, symbolism, you know, if you go back to the boat, not only is the rudder gone, but the hourglass is gone too. Out of time. Right, so this is old age. That. No, it's really cool, I like that. 
So we've talked about some of the mainstays here. Uh, let's talk about what else you're bringing in this summer. We do special exhibitions every summer. We always want to bring art to the community that people might not be able to see otherwise. And this summer we're really excited about the Emma Amos Color Odyssey exhibition. Uh, bold multimedia canvases. Emma Amos was an woman artist, an artist of color, who was also an activist. And I think everyone will find something to relate to in her artworks and in her story. Uh, parallel to that, we always like to draw on our permanent collection. Mm -hmm. So we have an exhibition called Call and Response, and it explores 30 years of the museum collecting artworks by black artists, black American artists. There's always the permanent collection galleries. We've got a special exhibition downstairs called More Than a Tweet. You have the arts festival, the cafe. There's always something to do. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. A lot of colors and that'll be on display when? That opens on June 19th and runs through early September. Perfect. Man, a lot of what you guys do here at Munster William Proctor Art Institute is such a major part of the fabric of our community here. And there is a large arts community here. And as you're saying, Absolutely. it's nice to put that on display with the sidewalk show and, and things of that nature. So that being said, how excited are you to be a part of it in bringing it all back this year? Well, Munson Williams has been in this community. We were uh, chartered in 1919 and opened our doors in 1936. And I think a lot of people don't realize how large the Arts Institute is. So we actually are part of 10 acres right here in downtown Utica. We have 28 buildings. Uh, you know, we not only have the museum, but we also have our School of Art that has a great community arts education program, as well as a college program affiliated with Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. And then there's the Performing Arts Division. So we do concerts, not only the concerts during the Summer Arts Festival, mm -hmm. but we do concerts in the courts, we do m uh, movies every week. Yeah, all of the arts. I mean, so yep. much, right? So we, it was a really hard year last year because for Munson Williams, it's about bringing people together with the arts, having authentic experiences, you know, looking at things in person. You know, we all know when we look at something on our computer screen, like it's great to be able to see artwork by Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. But you know, you're looking at this big, or maybe you're looking at it this big. When you come and see yeah. our Jackson Pollock downstairs, and it's it's a completely it's different, authentic yep. experience. Music, art, all of it. It's better, it's different in person. You right, and the, it, we yeah. can bring all of that together. We can bring hands-on, art together where you're creating something as well as experiencing things in the galleries and hearing live music. I mean, it's just when we bring that all together, I mean, the energy is tremendous. It's really important to Munson Williams that we partner with as many organizations as we can in the community because we want to bring in the entire community to have and to share that experience yeah, with them. Definitely. It's been a fun-filled day here at Munson William Proctor Art Institute and fun happening all summer long for you as well. And check them out on all social media to keep up with the exhibits and everything happening this summer. And even grab a bite while you're here at Terrace Cafe, which is what I'm about to do. And this, unfortunately, is the end of our very first Oneida County Fan Bus Fridays. Join us at CNY Kiss on all social media. We'll have more uh, on what to do throughout the summer here in Central New York.